Christmas at Sea by Robert Louis Stevenson. Sheets were frozen hard, and were cut the naked hand. The eggs were like a slide, where seamen scare could stand. The wind was no wester, blowing squalling of the sea. The cliffs and spouting breakers were the only thing a lee. We heard the surf a roaring before the break of day. It was only with a peep of light we saw how ill we lay. We tumbled every hand on deck and stand up with a shout, and we gave her the main tops and stood by to go boat. All day we tacked and tacked between the south head and the north, all we haul the frozen sheets and go no further forth. All day as cold as charity and bitter pain and dread, the very life and nature we tacked from head to head. We gave herself a wider breath, where the tide rays are wrought, and every tack we made we brought the north head close abroad. So as we saw the cliffs and houses, the breakers were running high, and the coast guard in his garden was glass against his eye. The frost was on the village roof as white as ocean foam. The good red fires were burning bright in every long shore home, windows sparkled clear, the chimneys wallowed out. And I wove we sniffed the victuals as the vessel went the boat. The bells upon the church were rung with a mighty joyful cheer. For it's just that I should tell you how, of all days in the year, the stay of our adversity was blessed Christmas morn, and the house above the coast guards was a house where I was born. When I saw the pleasant room, the pleasant faces there, my mother's silver spectacles, my father's silver hair. And when I saw the firelight, like a flight of homely elves, go dancing round the china plates that stand upon the shelves. And when I knew the talk they had, the talk that was of me, of shadow on the household and the sun that went to sea. And how wicked fool I seemed in every kind of way to be here and hauling frozen ropes on the blessed Christmas day. A little high sea light, and the dark began to fall. All hands to loose top gallant sails at the captain call. But the Lord shall never stand it, our first mate Jackson cried. It's the only way of the other, Mr. Jackson replied. She staggered to the bearings, but her sails were new and good, and the ship smelled up to windward just as though she understood. As winter's day was ending in the entry of a night, we cleared the very headland and passed below the light. And they heaved a mighty breath, every soul on board but me, and they saw her nose again pointing handsome out to sea. But all that I could think of in the darkness and the cold was just what I was leaving home and my folks were growing old. 